Hi, this is Music and Message, and this is Jesus, Savior, King. Open your eyes and see Don't be afraid again Lift up your voice and sing There's more with us than them May his gentle wind answer a prayer May he make your way with thunder And this morning light open doors and comfort you. Don't be afraid again. There's more with us than them. His goodness, joy, and peace. His mercy is great to the heavens. A salvation we will see. the mountains were formed He made the face of the deep He set the stars above And made the mountains steep He brings the dead again by his word and his breath he'll guard your life and direct your steps don't be afraid again there's more with us than them Savior King surrounds us with His mercy, His goodness, joy, and peace. His mercy is great to the heavens, His salvation we will see. Save your king. May the Lord bless you indeed. And brought in your heaven, give you peace. May you be kept from pain. May you be kept from pain. Oh,
surrounds us with his mercy, his goodness, joy, and peace, and his mercies break the heavens. Of his salvation, we will see. Jesus, Savior, King. Lord God Almighty. Jesus, Savior, King. A young man wakes up in the morning and fumbles for his clothes. Padding his way down the hall and out the door, he comes around the corner outside the house. The morning sun breaks over the horizon, and he gets a look over the, at the city wall, over the city, over the city wall, and there, to his surprise, surprise, is a whole battalion of enemy forces. He runs back to his master, Elisha, and he fearfully tells him what he thinks. The city is doomed. Invasion is coming. His master, Elisha, walks him quietly out to a high place overlooking the gathering. And Elisha prays a, prays a prayer that's simple but it's powerful. O Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Second Kings 6, 15 through 17. The young man was afraid and lacked spiritual insight. And who can blame him? He was young and great faith. And such vision may be expected of Elisha. So he needed some spiritual insight and to be encouraged. When you are given faith, you start to believe that the battle is already won. Because you know you're not fighting your battles alone. But who has such faith and how can you get it? Who does life completely right? Well, everyone comes short of the glory of God. Jesus was known for opening the eyes of the blind, and he, as the one begotten Son of God, lived that sinless life and was crucified for your and my sins. He defeated death by rising from the dead in three days, so we do not have to pay the eternal debt for our sins. There isn't a thing we can do to get saved other than to believe and accept the gift of salvation by faith. It's not by work, works we're saved, it's by faith. Or you, you and I could brag about it. The offer of salvation in Jesus' name is an offer to invite the God of the universe that raised Jesus from the dead and created everything we, we can see into our lives. We are talking about thunderous power that can move mountains and topple entire countries with a blink of an eye. He can help us win the battles set before us to win. God says, I was formed long ages ago at the very beginning when, when the world came to be. Before mountains were settled in place, before hills, I was given birth. Before he made the world or its fields or any dust of the earth. I was there when he set the fields, heavens in place. When he marked out the horizon on the face of the deep. When he established the clouds above and fixed securely the fountains of the deep. When he gave the sea its boundaries so the waters would not overstep his command. And when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Proverbs 8. So salvation is by faith and faith comes by hearing the word of God. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek his face. If you reach out the hands of your heart and diligently seek after him, you'll find him. He will give you the faith as you do. If you feel God drawing you to him, you simply believe and call upon the name of the Lord and you'll be saved. Now, why do followers of Christ do good works? If you're saved by grace and faith, not in faith and not, not by what one does. Because we're accepted in Christ and want to be obedient. That's why. God is merciful and kind and forgiving. He won't let the yoke be too heavy in your work. And we get rewarded for serving too. 
In serving, he allows us to help widen our heavenly inheritance. Jabez was an Old Testament figure that, that asked God if he could really be blessed. He asked God if God would widen his boundaries and keep him from evil and pain. God did just that. That He widened his heavenly inheritance and, and that he would also ask that he would be kept from pain and evil. I wrote that into this song. Uh, I plead and ask for this and ask for undeserved favor and and in mercy joy and peace joy and peace but that he'd widen my heavenly inheritance and keep me from joy and peace I have my daughter here with me go ahead this is Jessica Jessica's gonna be getting married Hi. and I pray the same prayer for her and her in her love Cody that that God would broaden their heavenly inheritance and they'd be kept from pain and they'd be kept from evil. Um, trust in the Lord and do good and dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way into the Lord, trust in him and he will He will give you the desires of your heart. Well, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. The meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. You guys be blessed. In Jesus' name. Yeah, even though it's by grace we're saved by faith, he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek his face and always do good. Honey, you've been serving in the um, during this COVID pandemic as a nurse. Oh yeah. And she's 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 I'm very proud of her. <laughs> she's really been brave. She stepped up. Now you're gonna go in and be a nurse practitioner, trying mm -hmm. going towards that. Well, I just, all, all my love and my blessings with you guys. And that's the best I can do. Um, and, well, anyway, I don't know if I can play this. It's getting kind of cold out here. He's, <laughs> he is Jesus, Savior, and King. That's, he's our Savior who loved us and died for us and gives us eternal hope for a bright tomorrow in heaven. You know, we all fall short of his glory. Nobody does life completely right, but he loved us and died for us and rose again in three days, and he did it right. And it's by faith and grace that we're saved, and that's it, right? Mm -hmm. You've known that since a little girl, and you've served, and you've done well. You, I'm, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. He's the Lord God Almighty. Jesus, Savior, King. Surrounds us with his mercy. His goodness, joy, and peace. And his mercy is great to the heavens. His salvation we will see. Savior King. Thank you. This has been Music and Message. Have a blessed week.